Hello and welcome to this lecture on SDL Trados 2007. This time we're going to be talking about um, how to deal with some other formats in Tag Editor. I want to show you um, my file uh, structure here that I had uh, set up for my first project. And I'm going to go into my translation area and then into Tag Editor. And I want to show you that I am going to be translating today a PowerPoint. So my client sent me a PowerPoint to translate. I'm just going to open it up for you to show you what it looks like. So we have uh, two slides here. And these are very easy to, uh, to open up in uh, Tag Editor. The first thing I want to show you is I'm going to go ahead like I did before and pre-translate my file. So I go to Tools and Translate. As you can see I already have the workbench open with my uh, TM open. So let me go ahead and add a file here. Go to the correct uh, folder, Tag Editor. PowerPoint. And just to give you an idea about how many different files that you can use with Tag Editor, um, here they are. HTML, XML, PageMaker, Quark, and Design. And some of these require um, a, a special filter, uh, but you can use um, all of them that are listed um, here. There's a filter that I'll show you that will help you um, with those certain files uh, later on. But today we're going to be talking with uh, talking about this PowerPoint file here. So 2000, 2003 and here's sample.ppt. Click on open. Make sure that if this is at 70 percent and we don't need to touch any of this. Our log file we are going to put it in our PowerPoint folder, as you can see. And we'll call it, let's see, what is it called? It's called sample. So we'll call our log sample, as to not get confused. And we will click on save. Now we're ready to pre-translate. So let's click on translate. And it is already done. So now we can close. And we'll go back into our folder where our PowerPoint was, and now we have our log and our TTX that was created when we pre translated our file. So I'll go ahead and double click on it, and it'll open it up in Tag Editor just like that. Okay? I'm going to click on Alt Home type that in on my screen and here we go with our uh, first segment here we have an exact match so uh, we are okay there alt plus here we have um, an exact match where somebody has taken and entered a segment in English into the French um, into the French uh, part of the TM. So that's really easy to fix. I'm just going to excuse me for a second and Alt Plus change this to the French okay alt plus still no match but it's the same word so alt plus okay and then you see of course your um, your tags in here and you would need to um, uh, respect those 
as you as you translated that. So let me hit uh, Alt End. And you can see the rest of the uh, the document here. Okay. And as I showed you last time, if you want to see how things are shaping up with your translation, you can always click on Preview. And here you can see what you've translated. Let me get a little smaller so it's easier to see. So, SDL Trados, you know, the rest there, you can see what you've done um, so far. If you're in Preview mode, go back to Translation mode, you just click on Edit. Okay? And once again, you can uh, go ahead and save. You have a TTX file here, so you can go ahead and click on Save, and that little symbol goes away. And you can close. Oops. You can close this, and as you can see, you have your TTX file in here. You can open that back up, and there you go. So that's how you work with um, some other formats, and I showed you uh, PowerPoint this time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.